first master data means like customer master data right so the first one is customer master data what is the transaction code for customer master data creation it's uh, xd1 right xd01 write down Mm -hmm. Go to transaction code XD01, then press enter. Mm -hmm. Specify the account customer. We are calling him as a sold to party in SAP. So that we need to give a sold to party account group. Then specify the company code and specify the sales organization. Specify the distribution channel, then division. Once you specified the organizational data, then click on enter. Then specify the address details in general data section. The customer master data is divided in three different sections. One is general data, the other one is company code data and sales area data section. The first one is general data section. Under that you have a address details, address tab. Specify the address details. And specify the customer search term and specify the city and specify the country and transportation zone. These are the fields which are mandatory for filling while creation of customer master data. There are number of tabs are here. Address tab is a mandatory tab, remaining are all optional. Based on your client, if sometimes it is required, then you need to test these things or else you no need to test these things. Okay. Right. Next one, company code data section. Company code data section. What is the use of company code? Company code always speaks about financial transactions. Company code is always speaks about financial transactions. Here, if this specific, specific customer, how much he has to pay? This will be tracked with the help of reconciliation account by trade receivables domestic. Because once the company sells the goods to the customer, the customer will pay the amount means company will receive if the customer is from India or from the domestic location it will be given as a trade receivables domestic account next one payment transactions specify the terms of payment once the goods are supplied to the customer how many days do we give as a credit period or a grace period for payment settlement. This is 45 days time will be given to the customer for payment settlement. Next one, correspondence. If the customer is not paid the payment, for example, then the reminder will be sent to the customer with the help of Dunning procedure. 
how many times do we need to remind a customer that is what it is called four level dunning every two weeks once we need to ask the customer for the payment right understand yes and yeah. Yeah, this should be same for across all the you know our regions like international regional yeah. domestic whatever we are using uh, in sap system is a international standards if anything specific is required a functional consultant will add some other values here okay okay next one insurance if a customer we are supplying the goods a 500 crore rupee worth of goods from india to america now on a ship now the ship got sink in the middle of a sea who will bear the loss company nobody because company has to give that responsibility risk to an insurance company that insurance number of the customer will be given given here mm -hmm. so that any future references they can use it okay. next one sales area data section sales area data section what do you mean by sales area we will maintain all the information about the sales the first one is sales here if you look at the sales tab important is currency field inr and the next one is customer pricing procedure it is a standard one based on this customer pricing procedure system will determine what type of pricing procedure it should trigger while creation of a sales order mm. next one shipping tab what is a shipping tab will do suppose two customers are there for a company one is a very bulk buyer and who will pay the payment in time and the other one is occasional buyer only once a year he will come and purchase now whom if both are placed an order but the stock is available less whom will the company will give priority whom they will give the priority bulk buyer or a uh, once in a while uh probably once in a while customer so they don't want to lose the small customer that is no? depends upon the company they will prioritize whom it should be given as a first priority if one person no. places an order immediate some other customers place an order it will take a uh, five days of time like that next one billing document in billing documents whether this customer is eligible for rebate then check the rebate column next important thing is in co terms what do you mean by in co terms there is an icc international chambers of commerce of body regulatory body who will provide the rules and regulations for both the company and the customer who has to bear what suppose if a company and customer have an agreement for she for free transportation freight free then they will add this one so that system won't calculate any transportation cost while creating a sales order for this customer and this is in co term 1 and this is in co term 2 from the location where we we are sending the goods mm -hmm. next one account assignment group what is an account assignment group selling the goods to this customer what kind of money do we receive is it foreign revenue or domestic revenue if a customer is from india and company also from india in which currency they do the transactions domestic currency domestic 
I want to calculate what is the total domestic currency did we generate in this year. How we can generate with the help of this account which we assigned domestic revenues. This field will be useful while calculating re revenue account determination. Based on this one, how much revenue did we receive in domestic or how much money did we receive in foreign currency? Everything we can calculate. Next one, tax classification. What do you mean by tax classification? Whether this customer is taxable or non-taxable. If taxable means liable for tax. This one we need to give. Liable for tax. Now the last tab is partner functions. Partner functions. What is a partner function? Who is involved in the business? He will be called as a business partner. What are the four mandatory partner functions are required in SAP? Sold to party, bill to party, payer and shipped to party. These are the four partner functions required. Then click on save. Then click on save. Now a customer so number will be generated. So one question here, Tarkin. Okay. Yeah, go, so, go ahead. Uh, if client needs some more, uh, you know, the uh, partner functions, so functional consultant will add here, right? Yeah, we can also add here, this one, here, column, here, here, like this. Okay. So how about uh, like uh, if you need uh, another tab like uh, billing yeah. documents? Yeah, one more, so tab if required. one more tab if it is required with the help of the developer, the functional consultant will get it done. Okay, with the help of the developer. Okay. Whenever a screen modification is required, screen, mm -hmm. then a developer mm -hmm. needs to be there. So this is HD module, right? So how, how did you get in there? Like did you use any URL or... Come again? Uh, this is HD module, right? Correct. So how did you get in here? Like uh, did we use any... Yeah, uh, logon will be there. Logon details are there. I will show you. Okay. 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 I will show you again so you will understand. No problem. Right, see, look at this, 36 customer has been created, this number. Okay, customer master data creation is completed. What is the next master data? Material master data. 